Welcome to the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship, proudly presented by Q Sports International and hosted here in Las Vegas at Griff's Billiards. This is our finals match. It is one race to 10, alternate break, rack your own. Right now, let's meet our two opponents for this match. First up, coming up from the one loss side, he hails from Chinese Taipei. We put our hands together for Jun Lin Chang. And his opponent, our only undefeated player in the event, we put our hands together, hailing from the United States of America, Skylar Woodward. <laughs> Gentlemen, have a great match, and you may lag for break. Well, after a great introduction by John Lehman, our tournament director and head referee, welcome to Griff's Billiards as Q Sport International presents the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. This is the final match being held here at Griff's Billiards. In, in the booth to bring you the live action is Jeremy Jones and myself, George Teachea. We've got a great match coming up for you. Here is the fifth rank WPA player in the world, Jun Ling Chang versus Skyler Woodward, top American player. And this is the U.S. Open, and this is Jeremy Jones telling us about the players. Well, you say fifth ranked, but it wasn't long ago he was the number one ranked player in the world. Yeah. Uh, Josh Filler and a few of the co-brothers and uh, a few have uh, made a little change in those numbers, but still right there and two of our top seeds in the event <coughs> um, going by the Fargo rating uh, Woodward and Chang yeah. Woodward well, I think was number eight Woodward uh, was rated uh, uh, seated eighth and uh, Chang second mm, correct yeah perfect behind SVB I'm guessing uh, or maybe Okuyo yeah well the highest uh, f they were by Fargo's and they were seated uh, I think it's Shane I'm guessing Shane was Shane one. was first um, Chang was second Let's see, we get the third was Dennis Tricolio, fourth was Alex Pagulion, and on down the line. Fifth, we had uh, James Aranis. Sixth with, uh, was uh, Kevin Cheng with an 804 Fargo. Sixth, uh, sixth with Kevin Cheng. Yeah, right. Seventh was Jeffrey DeLuna. Eighth was Scatter Woodward. And, of course, ninth was Marco Toucher, who just won our 10-ball U.S. Open. He'll move up with his Fargo rigging. Sure. Yeah. As will Tyler Steyer. He wasn't even ranked at 750. Uh, the top 16 had Fargo ratings over 771. And we had 23 players with Fargo ratings over 750. But we're off and running here, and these guys have broken the balls. Yeah, I thought I heard one down. Uh, I, I didn't see um, the ball go down, but, I, yeah, he's at the table again. So many balls up the table, a little bit more than usual. Um, the stripes are very nice. I don't see any problem with the stripes. The solids are very doable as well. Don't really see much problem. I know he's looking at this five ball. And <clears throat> there should be, but yeah, I would. I, I still kind of like the stripes overall, mm -hmm. especially if the five is any kind of tight at all. Um, the nine may be the hardest ball to get position on, and it's still not very difficult. So here, nothing fancy. No reason to move the cue ball much. Don't draw back for the nine and have something get tied up off the combination. Just kind of ease it in. There you go. Well, these two met earlier today at noon, actually, in our hot seat match. And here they are back again. John Link just finished his match with Tyler Steyer. Uh, an exciting match. And here he is. May draw back for the nine now. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now he'll fall probably on the 11. May fall on the other ball because the 11 just is a little easier to get down here for the 14 than the, the 15 is. So 
think he may hold for the 15 on that little gap between the 5 and 3. And then you can see the 11. Real easy to come clear down the side of the table either for the 13 or the 14 in the lower left. So He can cheat the pocket a little bit on the 11, so he'll kill the ball here. No reason to go for the above angle on the 11. We've seen him shoot many shots in the last match with the lighter stroke killing the ball. He's fine. Oh, sure. Come down for the 14 and always have the option on the 13, but would like to get on the 14 here. This is a race to 10 instead of 8. This is a single race. Well, that one's got to slow down a bit. So he's going to get a little out of line on the, on the 14, so he's probably going to pass on that one. Well, that'll, he, that'll be a little upsetting, man. He's just got to work a little harder. Yeah, he's got to take the ball two rails and then play the 14 in the side. Yeah, you wouldn't threaten most no. likely coming around for the corner yeah. with those other two solids right there near. No, it just and then just this tight angle on the on the corner here with a little bit of right low, and he comes in beautifully for the side pocket and stops it for the eight. So it looks like Chang will start off with a break and run, and I believe if the break cooperates, we're going to see many runs. I think that's going to be. Let's want to try to predict how many runs there might be in this match. It's going to be. A, it's a race of ten, so. I'm guessing 50 percent plus by the players. Probably more along the 70 percent range when they make a ball on the break is what I'm guessing. I'm going to circle my X's as I make them if it's a break and run. Just don't pin whip me, please. Oh no 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 okay. no! I'm thinking it could be higher. I think because yeah. uh, 50 percent would be. Ten breaking runs out of the twenty if they go hill hill. Right. Or uh, nine breaking runs. Yeah, if they if they're making That's ball, if, they, if, they, if it didn't the break high. slowing sure. them down, it's going to be seventy percent plus probably. If they break well, I just wow. We'll keep track of them. That's one thing I didn't think of doing before on all these others is whenever the breaking run, just circle the X. You'd have ran out of ink probably. <laughs> it's been, been a lot so of breaking many. runs. Yeah. yeah, there has. Uh, actually, most matches have been started with a break and run. Yeah. From what we've seen. And by both players. We've had several, several matches, uh, more than several matches. It's huge that lag, not only at the end of the match, but if you get off to that start, anytime your opponent ties it up, <laughs> you're going to have the chance to get out that lead again. Well, here's a good look at our sponsors. You have Griff, Cyclop, Kamui, Predator, Simonis, JB Cases, Discount Custom Apparel, Presented proudly by Q Sports International. This is the 2019 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. Played by CSI Rules. Cue ball is going to get kissed. Oh, yeah. just nearly. Yeah, that's dry. And he took a little dry. off that one. It was a little lighter than he's been breaking. And and now a, a dry break. And lots of, lots of little issues with this rack with a 13-ball that's near the eight, not sure it goes by the five, a three ball that's near the side pocket that's not easy. Um, so there's, he's going to inspect this wreck plenty before he makes that first shot, George. Mm -hmm. There's plenty to look at. There's some uh, clusters there. You got five around the spot by the eight ball. I mean, four balls around the spot by the eight ball. Uh, and you got the two, uh, the seven and the 14 there in the middle of the table, but they have pockets, so those aren't the yeah, problem. I like the solids, I guess. Yeah. The big, well, with solids, a big concern is that three ball. Yeah. But if he can get on the six to wrap around, right, mm -hmm. and get on the five, that'll open the four up for later on. Or maybe he shoots the four off in the side, and then he stays on that side of the table for probably the three. He might be so moving the three. He, uh, nah, he's got to just get an angle on the six. Okay. got to get that angle on the six to get around to the back side of the five. That's the key. Okay. Because then when you knock the five away, it opens the four in the side, and you're on the good side of the table to get at that three. Um, now, I would have wanted more of a roll angle. He's got a little bit more of a punch angle or stun angle. Mm -hmm. So when you have the stun angle and you get a little bit more on it, you may go into that 11. It could cause a little bit of a problem. 
but say he's over another six or eight inches to the left with the cue ball, our left, mm -hmm. well, he shoots the six in and he goes around. He rolls up for position on the, on the five. And anytime you're rolling your ball, usually the touch is better. Got to play position for the five now, though. That's the one that really opens the run out. Really does all the hard work the five ball does. So big shot here. He's got to come right between the five and the 11 with the cue ball. Did it nicely. Yeah. That's one thing about his cue ball. His cue ball is so precise. Yeah, so now, that. now he would have loved to have gotten on the four on the side next, but I think he's gotten a little thin on the five for that. So what it'll be is it'll be the five, the three, the one. Probably the seven and then slide over for the four in the corner. He may have to bump a ball here come the end, but should be okay. Can't wait on the three no longer, though. And he's left, uh, ooh, he's left the five ball in the pocket. And yeah. Scatter wasted no time coming out of the chair. And he's got to really think this one through. Yeah, well, he's got a problem. He, uh, yeah. He's got that 13 ball right by the eight, next to the eight. I and tell you, yeah. The and 12. And if he That's breaks, it. if he breaks with the 12, like say he shoots the 14 in, and because he's going to make the 12 after the five, that's not the problem. Is is making the 12 follow in the five? The okay. problem is, if he comes across, I might take a chance of going. I might have taken a chance of going into him there, but okay. So if he shoots this 12 into the five and comes across and bumps, I wonder what the gear. All right, he's going to shoot the 11 and do it. Well. He might tie up two balls with well, that. Uh, yeah, if the 13 yeah. gets on the bottom rail, this could be a problem. All hey, right. Is it going to get over? And this was what I was worried about is where am I getting my guaranteed insurance ball? The 10, it's a shot, but it's a missable one. Mm -hmm. Okay, needs to settle down. Got to make some good uh, decisions here along with execution. Great shot. Great shot. Got on the 14. He's got some work to get another shot, though. Well, he's just got to draw out of there and shoot the 12 and follow the 5 in. That's just all you got to do. Mm -hmm. And then you, you shoot the 13, and, and then you come back for the 9. The 8 goes in the lower right. So just use your draw stroke here. You can make that 12 follow the 5 from some distance. Or he's shoving it. That's got to go. He wants heavy. Wants straight in, that'll do. The key to following these in is don't overhit it. And when you yes, overhit it, it bounces off the ball a little bit more, off the five, meaning the 12 ball. So I'm surprised he's not nip drawing this, though. I'm surprised he's, he's falling. It. On it. But again, the main thing is hit, hit it, it easy. Drop, yeah. He did. <clears throat> Now the eight goes by the four. Yeah, it looks like so. He'll just I'll just draw it back. Come back for the for the. Does he nine. got too much angle to draw back? Does he have to go to the backside? I think he's okay. Looks like to me he have to go, might go have to backside of the one, and for the nine all the way up. So all the yep, that's what he's doing. And the thing with that shot is good. Better have good speed, because you don't want to get thin on the nine trying to hold for the eight. Uh -oh. He might have to go back and forth, and now that means the three's in, in the way a little. So he's going to have to shoot the eight from some distance, maybe. He's going to come back. Oh, wow. he's coming tight, those two rails like we saw Marco do a yes, few times. Yeah, yeah, sure. A little bit of left English on the ball here, or a little bit of draw, either one. Right. Gets him to where he has to go, just past the side pocket, and back between the four and the six. Oh, beautifully done. Beautifully done. He must have had a practice session on that shot. He's got to kind of hit this one in lightly with the side pocket being there, I think. Yeah. Okay, he went past the side just barely. Well, he broke dry, but he was able to come back and secure the win. Yeah, I missed ball. Back, missed uh, that ball. I missed five ball in the yeah. corner.
trying to hit it lightly to hold for the three. And here, here's our schedule for the upcoming years there. 2020, 2021, 2022, on down the line for the World 10 Ball Championships presented by Q Sports International and Predator, along with the BCAPL World Championships, the USAPL National Championships, and the new that we just had for the first time this year, Las Vegas, a Diamond Las Vegas 9 Ball Open. 128-player field. 64 player field for the Predator and of course thousands of players come in here for the BCA and USA Pool Leagues uh, on a yearly basis. It's been held in July for quite some time. Next year it'll be held March 11th through the 21st. Put that on your schedule. Come on out. John Ling Chang to break the balls for the third game. Direct didn't sound good there. Sound and very sluggish right there. Uh, it doesn't look good there with no, those that six one, that balls, seven balls in the middle, and then uh, dry. Yeah. And he's got a chance to run the solids. If he can shoot the two in and pick off the five and four and get up on that one, the six and three both go by the ten where the four is at. So he wants to save the one. He wants to shoot the... Wants to shoot the two. Oh, he's shooting the stripes. Okay. Oof, man, stripes looks like a lot of congestion to me. Uh, if the 15 goes by the 14, he might be okay. I don't think it does, actually. Okay. So he wants to get on the five or the four, preferably the four, but he might have to use the five to get on the four. I, I wouldn't want to take the one away, but the thing is you do have both those balls in the side as well. Mm -hmm. Like the three does go in the side. Now, the thing is, can he kill his ball here on the five without really disrupting much? This one's going to be light or hard, one of the two. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be medium. Uh, well, he's got a four. Well, he's got to take the four out. If the one goes, he can run out. No problem. The if one. the one goes, he can shoot the four and get out on the one. Then the three and the six both mm -hmm. go. And you can see the seven up in the corner. So he's got the run out here. I don't think the one goes by the 15 ball. Really? Unless maybe it goes into the rail and slides in. Well, you'll see a big slowdown in, in his process if the one doesn't go because he's got a lot to think about. Um, i got to believe it goes just because he's not taking much time. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't want to overrun. Right now. Doesn't want to overrun. That's trouble. Not only is it trouble you, if you do or if you are tight, you, that's not the angle you want to be shooting the one from. Right. You'd much right. rather be above it if you have angle. Now, do you think you might uh, you might run into the three, uh, six ball here? Well, yeah, I think he's got to, and he's got to do it mildly yeah. because he's got to guarantee that seven in the upper corner. But the problem is, when you run into these mildly, you got a good chance of tying something up. Yeah. Just so he's debating taking on the three ball right now. He was for a second. I. This one's missable from this angle if it's any kind of tight. Is he drawn into the eight to, to hold like for the seven? and then Because he doesn't want to slow roll it. I don't blame him. Yeah, that was tough. Well, he's left uh, the 10 ball or the 11 up on top. Yeah, he's left a mess, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Just because of the way those balls lay, he might shoot the 11 first. I'm not sure if I would settle for the long shot. But the 10 ball opens everything up for him. Yeah, he'd like to be below the 10 sure. where he could go into sure. a piece of the 6 and open up the 15 and the 14 as well. Um, with a top inside right there, you may still do it. It's a little more gambling. Well, that's 7-14. He might look at playing the combo, uh, you know, at it uh, after the 10. But he still has to gap 
the seventh, the sixth, and the. Well, the he's eight. he's waiting. Yeah. He feels like he can get on a ten in a better spot. Trying to think what I, I might have to wait also. Just, yeah. Just because if you shot the eleven in, if you felt real confident shooting the eleven, you can use the ten, the twelve or the thirteen to get, to get that good angle on sure. the ten to open them all up. Totally agree. Just now aim. The, your, yeah. Aim your cue ball at the three ball. Yeah, yeah exactly. Comes, Somewhere yeah, down in down there. Because you can do it with top English. You can do it with a stun. You can do it with a few different things when shooting the ten. He's trying to do it now. He's trying to it do it It works, down. and he's got there. Yeah, he got perfect. Don't get jacked up. No, he got perfect. Now he can follow his ball straight through. Should have a shot on either the 15 or the 14 for the lower left because he catches just the thin side of the 6, mm -hmm. right? And he cannons into that, what is that, the 15? 15. He yeah. might have a shot in the ninth. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, all sure, three. all but, three of them. And the good thing is he can hit it with a mild speed, meaning just a little bit above soft. You know, you don't need much really at all. Oh, he went by the six. Oh, and how did he the miss side. the six? I don't I'd know. I'd like to see that one again. I want to know how he shot that ball at that speed and did not catch a piece of the six. Wow. So it should be seven, six, the ball on the low rail, then come up for the three on the side rail and the eight in the side, I believe. Yeah, seven. No, no, no. Seven, six. Right, the six goes right. Yeah, I'd rather I'd, I'd want to get rid of this. Uh, yeah, seven, seven six one, first. and then come up on the side rail for the three, and then the eight on the opposite side. Right. Yes, I I, I like that a lot. This this must say the six doesn't go. He might have to shoot it all in the top right corner, the pocket, and then yeah. shoot the seven and draw back for the one. He can shoot the seven in the top corner too. Yeah, that's what I mean. After oh, okay. this, after gotcha. the six, shoot the seven and draw back for the one, because you don't want to go. Oh, he's moving the eight. Okay. Oh, well, that's that's actually a good idea. As long as he makes the ball, he did. He put yeah. the eight ball in a real nice spot. But is he going to get flat here to where he has to draw into a thin position on the one maybe? or Shouldn't Just be a problem. Come over a little bit for the three. Okay, he had yeah. an angle. Okay. Yeah, he had a little angled. I thought he was straight. Oh, okay. Straight would have made it a little funny. Yeah, keep in mind, folks at home, that we are, we are behind a monitor. We don't have access to the table. And so... A little limited on some of the angles that we see. We see them one way, and players play them a different way. That one kind of died a little bit. Huh? He could have come up a little more. It's not a problem, but you just your heart beats less for hmm. for the easier shots. And Skyler's able to steal one off of uh, Chang's break. And will be breaking. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships, folks, here we are. The scores you see on the bot, the numbers you see below the players' names are their Fargo rate. And that's how the 16 players were seated. 36 players started out on Sunday for the U.S. Open 8-Ball. We're down to the final two. As I, I like to say when it comes down to the finals, and then there were two. Oh, yeah. It's a race to ten here. Gives the guys a hair more comfort. go scatter breaking the balls if he can convert this to a win he oh, takes he advantage of the full break with that full speed a little better but nothing a few of them hanging the 11 heading but not going to oh. get there and 
both the stripes and the solids very runnable. Skyler turns around in resignation, knowing that he's opened up the rack for his opponent. Probably the solids. I mean, you could shoot a, a, this little combo on the 15-12 and then a combo on the 10-11 pretty easy. Nothing wrong with that. Both are very runnable. Uh, he could roll the three ball in very easy mm -hmm. and get for that two ball that's a little bit of trouble and then stay underneath the seven and yeah. and then get at the four. And you can see the balls up table, the one, six, and five. Are, you can run those as well. Mm -hmm. So solids yeah. or stripes, really. They both have their little bit of difficulty. Well, the solids just start so much easier with the three ball on the side there. Yeah, and it leads you to the two to where right you away. can get on that sure. seven that's a little bit no man's land because who knows if it passes the nine or not. Mm -hmm. I'm so pretty sure it passes the nine, but after he pockets his three ball, he'll be almost straight in on the seven. I mean, the on two. the two yeah, to, to, get to follow to the seven, for the seven. Yeah. Right. I knew where I wanted to go. I just forgot <laughs> how to get there. It's been a long six <laughs> days here. Good thing we had missed miss many balls from the booth. Uh, I've missed a few. Do you, just you lay, it. do you just lay up right here for the 10-11 combo? Because you're not going to knock the 10 in a bad place. The 9's down there if it goes that way. And uh, I go ahead and hit this. Yeah, but I'm saying you hold right the cue ball for the 10's the, sure, the issue, why not? right? I, I know he's not worried about the 10 too much, but he could have held it right there and shot a 10-11 as well. But I think he's going to come up draw, for the 10 Draw right back now. now. Sure. I don't think he wants to play with combos. I think he'd go short side. Yeah, you better be very aware of getting there, though. You don't want to be yeah. running the cue ball into the six. Well, you can get there from the 11, too. Yeah, now he's going to play that combo I was talking about. Okay. So, so that tells me he couldn't hold on that first combo we okay. shot for this one. Because also what it does is, well, I'll tell you one thing, though. Is he going to hit this hard enough to get over for the 15? That, that's taking a little chance, and the only reason I say that is most likely the 10 is not going to go in a bad place with that much speed, but it could. Yeah, he went ahead and played for the 10 now uh, for the uh, for 15, so it worked out. But say that ball gets tied up right there on top of that sure, 10, sure. bad things could happen. And so what do you do here? He's got well, a bunch he gonna, of options. Yeah, I, mean. I thought he was going to play the 15, but no, well, he's coming down here. It's pretty. It's a little missable. So I see what he's going to do. He's going to come back. He's going to play the 10, the 13, the 15, and the 8. Right. Well, we talked about it before the match started. We kind of asked each other, what, oh, that one's gone a ways. So now he's going to have to draw off the 15. Oh, boy. Which and is okay. It. I mean, he's got a great draw stroke for this type of shot. But uh, we talked about before the match that what we kind of thought might happen during this match, and we both thought it would be a close one no matter what, 10-9, 10-8. Mm -hmm. Get the full gamut of pool. Yeah, we're going to see it all. We're going to see, that, well, the brakes already failed uh, Skyler twice, right? Just once. Yes, twice. twice. Yeah. Oh, he played the 13 anyways. Very comfortable with all the shots, this guy, Chang. Mm -hmm. Or at least he doesn't show the discomfort. Now, this is the type that if you try to slam, it's missable, or if you try to really get a lot of draw, you might could miss it. So we'll see because it's aimed to, to where the cue ball wants to fall towards the rail just ever so slightly. Oh, he slammed it anyways. You know, by his standards, this is a hard shot. <laughs> by his standards? Yeah. Oh, you I mean, mean because I mean, of position? Because of position. Yeah. He's yeah. played nothing but yeah. easier ones since. 
<laughs> That's what I was saying the other day. He's very similar yeah. to Buddy Hall with the cue ball, but also when needs to make a tough one, he can come with it. That's, sure. that's what's so amazing. You he stay in line, stay in line, stay in line, but um, the long ones off the end rail, stuff like that, he can still do it. And, and he stays aggressive also. Like he's playing rotation. He doesn't pass up on what he thinks are the banks he's supposed to shoot at. Um, just a tough player. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think you get ranked fifth or uh, for a while there first by not being a tough player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he's got a lot of young guns coming up after him. You know, they're, they've got him in his sights. He's a little younger than I thought he was mm -hmm. also. He's 34. thought he was 36, 37. So not, you know, he's still got a good 10, 12 years or so, at least mm -hmm. of the prime, I think. Guy looks like he stays in good shape. And sure. Really doesn't look any different than he did when I first was around him some 12 years ago, probably. Besides, he plays a little better than he did 12 years ago. <laughs> Darn, they just keep improving, don't they? Pretty incredible. All right, that's that good pop. And the and five's going to the get five. down there. There goes the cue ball in front of the pocket, but he's okay. Well, I don't Except know for a shot. The, he better have a long distance window on that. What is that? The seven down here? Uh, I don't think he can. Oh, the seven down here in the lower right. Yeah, I see it. I mean, what else is he going to shoot at? Away. A back cut on the twelve, maybe. That's. I mean, not horrible. But again, his cue ball. We've talked we've talked about it in his last match. I think that the, his cue ball seems to end up on that in rail a lot. He's the only one of the few players we've seen that happen to. Yeah. Yeah. And that one didn't get kissed at all. It just kind of floated back there slowly. Mm -hmm. Kind of sat up to get kissed and never did. Okay, he can get at this solid here, so he's all right. This is a very runnable table after this shot right here. Getting this one down, you pick off the two and three, and then you, you have three solids up the table that you just have to deal with is all. So he should hold his ball for the two in the opposite corner, then come to the middle of the table. The six passes the 12, the one passes... Not so sure the four passes the eight, but underneath or up in the corner by the 11 or the side is okay. Yeah, just two rails out to the center sure. of the table. Ooh, narrowly by the 13. Not sure if he has to play the six ball to the opposite corner. I don't think he has to, but he's so. going to. Well, he got a little above this, so that tells me the four goes by the eight. Um, oh, I think so. I was wondering about that earlier. Yeah. And if it doesn't, he can run right by the four. It doesn't go in the no, other corner. No, it doesn't go though. in the other no. corner for sure. Twelve balls there. Yep. Must. Don't you hate them guys that just never get out of line? Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I kind of like them. <laughs> I find myself betting on them if I want to bet. <laughs> These guys ruining our sport, making it look yeah. too easy. Well, that wasn't a break and run. He uh, yeah, he was ran. A, was he a ran. Break, break and run. Didn't Skyler break dry there? No. No. -uh. There's only yeah six. He made a stripe on the break. Yep. Chang won the lag. Oh, I see what I've done. Yeah. He. He won the last game off of Skyler's break and right. then broke and ran. That's right. what I had. Okay. That's where I got confused. I'm adding all these little uh, things to my scorekeeping, like dry breaks and a miss and break and run. Then I'm confusing myself. 
Well, Skyler can't let this get out of hand here. Uh oh. I'm confused. Okay, Skyler won't back off this one again. Won't be a hundred percent, but yeah. Okay, missed him a little bit. Well. The 11 going to do nothing, so. And Sky sat down quickly because you can tell the balls didn't open that great. He broke from his left and really glanced the, the head ball on the right side. Um, so not going to get the results there. And again, solids are very runnable. I wouldn't waste any time coming down here to get this seven and three. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of options with the balls up table. In fact, drawing off this five. He can come right no, down for the three. Well, I'm trying to find one that connects me real well to the three, um, and I don't see it. So I like really trying to draw off the five here now because that side of the table is so open, right? So danger is not that big a deal you're probably at least going to get to where you can make the seven in the side. And if you get right on that little nice where you feel good about the three, you knock it away also first. See, and it laid so good. He's a little shorter than he wanted. So now he's going to say to himself, am I ever going to miss this three? Otherwise, I'm shooting and I'm coming one rail or two rails around, whichever. He I kind of like him coming one rail right into the 15. 15 you know? Yeah. He might now he's looking at two rails. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but we talked about it before. Whenever you want to pull the ball, you're going to have to add more speed. So he's going to have to do well to contain the cue ball. He's so good at that, though. He slows it down so nice. He so, just lets yeah. the, the cue do the work. Yeah, so now it's really something like 7-4. Uh, slide over, shoot the two off. Probably then the six and the one in the side for the eight, uh, something like that. Uh, I think he shoots the seven ball, then the four. Yeah. Probably Sli comes over, can come over into the 13 or play the one in the side, and then the other two balls open right up. Yeah, I really like the one in the side to lead me to the eight, though. Okay. Just for that little gap. If I get straight in on it, I just shoot it, and I stop kind of right there, and I can shoot the eight in the corner. Oh, he's coming around, okay, to get to that two, and that's why. Wants to get at that two ball, get that one out of here. He could have just laid that up and shot the four in the corner, but. He's going to shoot the four. I personally wow. would want the one in the side last. Oh, he's going to run the cue ball three rails for the two. I think that's what he's looking at now. Is, I mean, where else are you playing the eight? In the lower right, right? Lower right. Yeah, yeah lower definitely. right. You don't want to shoot it from above left of the 13, I don't think. I mean, you can if you're really close to it, but I like leaving the one last. He's going to leave the four last and drop down for the, for the eight in the opposite side, I think. Is that right, George? Well, if he leaves the four last, he's going to have trouble. I didn't think he was going to leave this ball. <laughs> Since he's going to have trouble getting there from the from the six ball, so he's going to shoot the six. Yeah, two to and one. He, and you're right. He's going to leave the four last. He's probably just going to get on this one off of the six and more than likely either come into the 13 or just play the four to the corner. Yeah, and stun over, for the, and stun yeah. over or follow for the side. That's what I think is going to happen the side, I think. That being for the eight ball I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. 
I think he's he be, I think he's best served uh, just bumping this 13 ball. Or is he looking to get straight straight in on this and drawing past the 13? Yeah, if you draw you draw past the 13 though, you get you an get, angle going away from the eight a little bit. Yeah, I thought yeah. he'd bump it. Now he can slowly drift this in and play for the eight in the opposite side. <clears throat> so pretty nice run out. And he's off to a fast uh, lead here, winning three in a row over Skyler's two in a row. And he has the break. So the U.S. Open 10 ball was won by Marco Toucher. And he's uh, living in New Zealand, but he's from the Netherlands. So no American uh, for the U.S. Open 10 ball. And uh, we have an American and the Chinese Taipei player here battling it out for this one. So there is a chance that both titles could go to uh, non-Americans. And that shows you some of the strength coming from Europe and the international field. And we saw a lot of that um, a couple weeks ago when we had the, the Predator World 10 ball. We'll see it again in March. I think it's a great thing that they're having these tournaments to bring all these players together here on oh, U.S. Yeah. soil. And it gives us some really strong feels. And um, all it can do is improve play. Well, the players, maybe more than anybody, they appreciate the titles and, and know the history behind titles, but it's the fields they beat that you mm -hmm. really remember. Mm -hmm. And not just the guy you beat in the final. There it goes. Oh, one the one ball. ball's going to save him. On the end rail again with the cue yeah. ball, though, huh? It, tra it keeps tracking up. As soon as he broke the ball, it just keeps tracking up there. Well, and it's a it's a not a good thing because what it does is it limits you on that first shot, not only making a ball sometimes, but really being effective with problems. And that's the worst part about really getting the, you know, sometimes it doesn't affect you at all. It actually works out for a problem. But for the most, you know, percentage-wise, the issue is, a lot of times when you're making your first shot in eight ball, you're trying to direct yourself towards a problem somehow, whether it be position or breakout or short position. But if you keep putting yourself up on that end rail and you like the 515, for instance, either way, if it stripes or solids, he doesn't really have a good path to it, not only on this shot, but another mm -hmm. shot following. Just because he's up here on the end rail, he's very limited. Sure. So, and for here, uh, there's a starter on the, on the solid, that being the six, but it's not great uh, just because it's the only ball that's next to your five that's, that's really it has, in trouble. It has to be moved. Sure. Yeah, so he's really got to do it with the stripes. And the good thing about the stripes are, though, if he could feel good about the rail first on the nine. See, he's looking at that now. If he feels good about the rail first, if you just get up to where you can cut the 11 in the side, you can come back to that five, to the back side of that 5 and 15 and break it out real natural, just coming into the rail and back up underneath it. So this is a big shot. If he feels good with the rail first, it's probably the, the shot. Rail first on the 9, put some speed on it, get over there somewhere going kind of near the 2, and then you can cut the 11 and come one rail right to the back of the 5 and open those balls thing about this rail first to be most effective you can't baby it you got to put some speed on it could follow it in yeah i was going to say <laughs> i was i was going to ask you that's it's it flat. happens a lot it can happen it a lot happen yeah a lot. just a little yeah. bit of a miss and you follow it in i was waiting for you to that that uh, either say that or i was, was going to get that in there and i said well I'll just let see what happens let it develop <clears throat> but when you're real flat on a rail first shot like that uh, that happens a lot. Yeah, you can't be afraid to cut it. 
Yeah, and a, I, you know. I thought maybe when you said make sure you hit it with some speed, um, that could help it. But Well, that was just also for position. Yeah. He needed sure. to get the cue ball out to cut the 11. Now, I still, this draw position, right, he needs to put some speed on this because, again, this draw and the heavy hit doesn't carry the opening so well. well he's, oh, and I, he did. He uh, put a lot okay. of speed on it, Perfect. which was good. And now, now he's, he's now he's elevated on the th on uh, now he's just got to he's got to shoot the 10 11 13 15 right yeah. otherwise he's stretching on a 13 ball so i think it's the 10 the 11 just get over on that side rail shoot whichever ones you want back and forth don't get fooled here sky take the 10 away to open the pocket for the 15 and then you shoot the 11 in the side and just run the cue ball over there in between the 13 and the 15. It's very easy. Right? Is that right or no? Yes. Um, no, he, might, he, uh, might, he might be thinking that. Yeah, that, but now oh, you've got to wow. shoot now long this distance. Is, this will be tough. See? Yeah, I would yeah, look at gonna, the 10 and then the 11. He's gonna, yeah, that's what yeah. he's looking at now. Yeah, you he's can't. Gonna, he's uh, kind of forcing himself to shoot that shot. Yeah, and you got well, you got options that way. If you want to hold in between the 15 and 6 and shoot the 13 next and then the 15 all the way down and the 11 last, that's fine too. See, like right here. If he wanted to shoot this gap and shoot mm -hmm. on the 13 and then shoot the 15 all the way down, that's fine. But I think he got too far, maybe. All right. He's still okay, though. I mean, even if he had to move the cue ball from the 13 to the 15, right, like a couple rails. He can two rail yeah, it Yeah, there's no problem oh. at all. Wow. He's killing his ball is what he's doing. Is he? I don't think he's going back and forth. He would have held more angle, I think, right? I would have. Yeah, he, yeah. he won more angle, sure. He's in a little tough place, I think. He's going to get a little touchy on this side. Well, he can come off. He can come off the rail for the eight in the side, or the corner. Because does he want to leave himself that long? Yeah, I didn't. I, I thought he might be co either coming over or coming around it. Still needs to go. Well, the one thing is he should have thought of that a little bit more before. Sure. He would have left himself more angle on that 13 and, and made things a little easier. I so. thought when he shot the 11, he'd go two rails and land the cue ball on the rail between both balls. Well, that's what I thought yeah. initially, yeah. That would have been easiest because then you got choices. Sure. But he, uh, he, solved the, he solved the problem and stole a rack from uh, Chang. After a dry break, he... Um, You got a rack from Chang. So this is big because now you can just tie it up right here. And uh, we're on break. Actually, we are on break. It's like if Chang just broke. And he can tie it up. Wants to make sure he um, he gets that rack right. He's had three dry breaks. Yeah, one of them sounded like, oh, that was Chang's. That sounded like a bad mm -hmm. rack. The other ones, Sky took a little off one of them, and the balls really didn't open that great. Um, but you don't still expect it, right? You, I mean, even though it keeps happening, you always tell yourself it's not going to happen. It can't happen yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. It can't oh, happen yeah. again. i got to break these balls over. good over again, and it's that's what that's why it's so frustrating. Because you sit there and you put so much energy into breaking the balls hard, controlled, mm -hmm. and you get nowhere. And all you do is open it up for your opponent. It makes you almost want to say, well, let's play some one pocket <laughs> and break them real soft and, and play with play around clusters. There are the, uh, There's a couple of players in Arizona that like playing it that way. They'll do that. They'll intentionally break soft. Oh, no. I oh, used yeah. to know a guy that yeah. I... I hated playing in a tournament. He was a good guy. Uh, we called him Motorcycle Dave. and uh, But he was an eight ball genius with mm -hmm. when it came to the moving side of the mm -hmm. game. Uh, knew so much about it. But he would break in these tournaments, and the tournament would last forever because he would break just barely legal. Oh, yeah. Where he got the four balls. I think it's four balls to the rail also. Um, and then from there, you know, a race to three would take you about an hour and a half. Well, here's Sky. He's, he's, he's Dead pretty center. intentional here. Dead center of the yeah. table, coming straight back. 
Unless he mishits it. Oh, that's better. Nothing, though. The four-railer got covered up. There goes, the, there goes the 13 ball. He made a ball on the break. See, now there, there, there you have the, the crowd keeping score. They know that he's broken dry three times. Yeah. Or did, did Sky jump up in the air? Boy, he'd sure like stripes, and I'm not so sure he has a really good starter on the stripes, does he? He's look, that's why he's inspecting the five. <laughs> he's got a cut back on the 11. Yeah. It's a steep, and like you've said, it's missable. Yeah, the five doesn't go. I don't believe that's a pretty good view there. Goes on the opposite side. Or maybe it does go. He's not too worried, it doesn't seem like. One thing he can do is he can drop on the six and easily break it open, just mildly rub it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this uh, tells me it probably goes, huh? Go ahead and pick it off, right? Save the well, four and six for now, last. So. No? This tells me it goes. Is he going to shoot the four? Or not. Or? Wow. Hmm. Was he thinking about using the five to the eight? If the five's any kind of tight, uh, without a ball like right in front of that right side pocket, I mean, i got to shoot the five now. If it goes, I'm shooting the five now. If it doesn't, I'm shooting the six ball and breaking it up. Yeah, he, he's, he doesn't seem concerned. He needs to catch that second rail here. He can play f position on the five and the side, but I'm, I kind of just thought he wanted to leave the four to have something to do with the eight later on. Okay, doesn't want to get jacked up too much. Yeah, he might be okay. Pretty much the same angle he just came from. I think he's going to bust him. That's what I think. But the thing is, he's got to realize he don't have to bust him much. He's got the three right there. So really hard to get no shot with the one and the three the way they are. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. With those other balls there, you got to be able to produce something on the five, right? Yeah, he's going to have to come back and play it for the side pocket because both pockets, both corner pockets are blocked. Hmm. Getting a little hairy. Yeah. Should you go after it right here, uh, mm. Jeremy? Cut the three, hit the head rail, and come back in a line straight towards the 15-12. Man, I don't want to use the, the one to get on the eight, but I might shoot the, the that being the seven and come down and get on the three. What? Just because the three leads me to the five so easy. Mm -hmm. Right? The three leads you to the well, five so easy. He might be coming down. He's coming down four now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's going to be all right. And then he'll shoot the one next. Well, maybe not. Yeah, he now will. That he got thin. He shoot the one next and use the six to come down for the eight. Yeah. And there is a lot of open space in the middle of the table, so coming down for the eight shouldn't be that hard. Now he so just got to bounce. He's yeah. got to bounce it off the rail a little bit. Not too much. Just get the one just railer where you yeah. cut the eight from atop the 14. Is that mm -hmm. right? Just get off the rail here and come one rail across where you sure. cut the eight from yeah. just a little above the 14 probably. And he's just looking at where he wants to get on the si on the seven. I don't think he's going to shoot it now. No. No. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Because he's going to be near the cushion. So digging on the cue ball when he has to shoot the seven is probably not going to be available. Keep it simple, Sky. Oh, he's thinking about drawing the ball back for a top side angle on the seven and then running the cue ball quite a bit down up and down the table. Yep. He's going to go two rails and go short side? Maybe one rail down here. One. Maybe one. Okay. This is where his view really means a lot on that one rail straight down or the two rails. That's where him being at the table uh, explains it much better than us looking mm -hmm. at it through the monitor. And from the way he's cueing the ball, he's coming down one rail. Oh, and he missed it. Wow. Well... 
talk about dry breaks and we talk about getting kissed in and scratches, but that's one thing also we you can't afford. Well, there's only been one other missed ball, and that's when uh, Chang missed that's in the, the second five, rack. Yeah, he missed the five ball, yeah. trying to ease it in. He's got a little bit of work to do down here with the 12, uh, although the 12 goes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I don't know. 12's close. I don't know if it goes or not. I was looking at that right when he missed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much with the 11 being so handy. Sure. And he can fourth. bust him out with the 11. He can come to the rail and and come into him. And he won't want to wait too long on the nine ball, of course. And he's got the angle to break it now if he wants. <laughs> Missed, missed it. it. Well, he's he's going to get another have, chance, probably. He's going to have strike two coming up. I don't he's know. pretty straight. Is it straight here? And one thing that Chang is definitely not going to do is panic. So even if he has to play safe uh, here on the shot shortly from now, not a big deal. He's not going to feel like I'm making a mistake by playing safe. He'll just play the percentages. But I'll tell you, a big moment in this match right here. It could be five to three with Chang breaking. Save now. Well, he can duck right now if he wants. He, he doesn't have to shoot the 14 off first to play safe. That's what he's doing. He's banking the 15 away and drawing behind the 14, maybe even behind the 12 as well. Just kind of depends on how he wants to play it. Probably just behind the 14 like that. Oh, he's left him a. No, he didn't. I thought he was going to leave him a little look. But I tell you, Sky's got to feel good about making a jump and cutting it back. And we saw one earlier. Was it yesterday we saw somebody <laughs> play safe and they jumped it right in? Now jumped they missed right the in. next ball, though. Yeah. Uh, How do you feel about a jump bank? Hey, he might do that. He might do that. I like it better than the jump cut. Oh, he is playing the bank. Wouldn't shock me. Would it shock you if he made it? No, not at all. And the cue ball holds right by the side pocket for a shot on the eight. And he won't. This will have some steam. Gave it a go. Yeah, so it's going to be the 15, 14, 9, uh, 12, and 8 to take a two game lead and breaking. Now, he might go back and forth and get on the nine no, right no. here. It's kind of his choice. I think so. I, I like. I actually like that. Although, you know, one thing he has done very, very well is he's let the balls lead him to his next shot. Yeah, pretty well. Yeah, yeah. pretty well. Okay, very aware of all ball fouls, so he'll tuck in the front of that shirt. He does this a lot, too. It, he may go back and forth, I don't know, but he doesn't mind easing that ball in as well with the, mm -hmm. a bit of a drag stroke. Now they both want to rack off each other's break. And now leads 5-3. These guys are going to take a timeout, it looks like, and we will too. We'll be right back.
when we're back. You can see our sponsors there, Griff's, Cyclop, Kamui, Predator, Simona's Claw, JB Cases, Discount Apparel, and brought to you by Q Sports International. CSI, the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. We had the 10-Ball the first three days with Marco Tutcher, now from New Zealand, winning that. And a close final over Dennis Okuyo. And now Jung Lin Chang versus Sky Woodward. 5-3 to three in breaking. Prime opportunity to get a little separation in our final. Oh, not the best hit. Now is something going to get kissed in? No. So an opportunity for Sky to kind of get back on serve, you might say. And the solids look really, really nice. Kind of tells you immediately what to do. You don't even have to go back up table. No. I'd pick these three off right here, and then the four goes by the two. Um, yeah, I wouldn't try to pick these off first. I would get the other ones up table first. And then yeah. all you got to do is get on the four. Uh, you knock the seven in easily. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the, the one and the two right there. So no reason to go back up table, I don't think. Just be careful not to move a ball. It's all ball fouls. And he's going to stretch over these uh, balls in the middle of the table there. Yeah, just hold that angle. <clears throat> and remember the... the the above angle you can handle a little bit of. <clears throat> Don't end up short behind this four ball where you got to kind of draw into the four 15 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Not saying it'll hurt you, and most of these guys recover. Like That's why they're the best in the world, mainly. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is, is because of the recovery. Like there, you can handle a little bit above it. Um, it's the behind it that, that could get a little devastating. Well, here, he doesn't want to go into that 13-10. No, he'll just roll because he might want to pick off that 7 first anyways. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. In. Now he can just get out above the 15 or or, or however, roll inside the 15. Kind of yeah. just what, what's your preference and what he sees more than what we see. Is that going to be there? Okay. He's fine. And that'll be Sky's first break and run. Uh, it was a dry break, actually, from Chong, oh. uh, Chang. Excuse me. Chung Lin Chang. Yeah, he dry broke. He kind of mishit him, too, though. Wasn't his best strike on the break. And now Sky will have a chance to break, though, to tie the match. Yeah, Skyler made a ball in the break last in the last game, the last everyone kind of cheered because he made yeah, one on right. the break. And uh, But he'll get a chance to do it again. And not our match. Break and run here, like you said. Yeah, we're just shy of halfway, racing to 10 here in the finals. Schuyler had a real square hit on the last one, so if he can repeat that, you just got to take your chances. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the break. Real square, about a 70% pop. Cue ball flies past the sides like that. That way, if you do miss hit him a little bit, the side pocket's not 11. really involved. Oh, it didn't go in. It yeah, goes to three. He's made a few, though. Good. I shouldn't worry about that stripe. That stripe's okay. He can get at it a number of ways. Now, the only problem is the two ball for solids. Yeah. Doesn't want to take a chance on cutting the 14 and going just with a hair of inside up into those balls. Doesn't appear anyways because it's very natural. And guess what? The 15 goes in the corner. It's not like you have to break them. Mm -hmm. You can get nice and heavy on the 14 that leads you right to the 15 in this upper corner where our camera's at. So he could break off of this right here. He could go into a piece of them right now. He did. Yeah. Open him up nice and probably shoot the 15 next. 
Um, um, I'd see how the 15 and 12 help me. I might have to take the 9 off. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> just because when you think about it, you got to get down table, right? Mm -hmm. so and those two balls get you there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Those are closer to where I need to go. Now, that's the miss hit he didn't want a little bit of. It's probably not going to hurt him, but I don't think he wanted to be this far behind the 14. Mm -hmm. Now he's got to kind of ease the ball a little bit, but still plenty to work with. And that's fine. And that 10 ball leads him to the 13 real easy. Yeah, he would have liked to have gotten rid of the 15 in this process right here, going to the 13 here eventually, but he may not be able to. He may just have to settle for the 12, the 10, 13, come back around to the center of the table for the four, for the 15 up in the corner, and then yeah, exactly look there for that two-rail angle out and again get right there. That's fine. Oh, that's right. Just there, and then you stay above the 13. You'll come two rails out right at the 15 ball, just where he's pointing there. So he's going to make sure it should be the 12, 10, 13, 15, 8. Just slide over three or four inches. That's perfect. Make sure you stay off the rail. So this is the type of shot that a lot of people can learn from. When you're trying to hold that angle, right, mm -hmm. instead of easing in that angle, no, you're going to go ahead and put that top right on there, and, and the right's going to kill the ball. So you can be a little more aggressive with the stroke. He's going left, so that tells me he's getting straighter and going to draw into that angle. Oh, did he get a little... Going the wrong way. He got pretty straight. And going towards the bottom. So he's going to have to pound he's it out of there. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Come out, yeah. I thought he'd stay above it a little bit more. And sure, make, it, make this yeah. derailer easy. Yeah, a little bit yeah, He's going to get a little sharp on him. He's real good at it, though. Like, that's a that's a bar table kind of a seven-footer. Mm -hmm. Starting to get a little thin, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Man. He didn't like it either. Yeah, and back and forth between the two and the six is not easy. So do you float it with a little right ball and take a little thinner cut on the eight? Or do you address it with a high and maybe a hair of inside and go back and forth between the six and the two? I think drawing down below is taking a big chance. Yeah, I yeah I was looking at the two rails I think for the yeah, side pocket. You just got to float it with a little yeah. flicker right, I think. I think that's all he really can do. Just kind of slow roll it to the to the corner pocket, yeah. and hit the rail, and just come off. And just know you're going to accept a little bit of a thin shot on the eight. That's all. Yeah, that's just all you can do. Great shot. He can run the cue ball. He can draw the cue ball, whichever he prefers. Thing is, if he runs it, don't get fooled about thinking you can't go right through the five and scratch. So he's going to go ahead and draw it to make sure he avoids all that. Well, they talk about Billy Thorpe and Alex Pagaline and a few of those that are known for having that fight and that heart. And mm -hmm. I don't think there's really <laughs> any more than uh, of that uh, in them than it is in Sky Woodward, oh, the guy I've seen that a lot constantly fights. Sky. I've yeah. seen a lot in Sky. Um, yeah. Heck, some of the wins he had, uh, let's see, they were all pretty tight. See my notes here. Heck, that 8 7 win over Corey Duell in the 8 ball. That was a fighter's duel. They fought hard for that match. No, Skyler's got a lot of heart. He comes, when the going gets tough, Skyler gets going. Yeah. And, you know, he's had so many, like, uh, convincing wins in his career, early in his career. And, uh, some might lead to say he's more of a front runner, but not the case at all, in my opinion.
No, he's uh, he's also had some very important one game wins when he's had to or races oh, yeah. to five things like that. He's um he's come he's come with it when he's had to, and like everybody else, he's lost his share. Oh yeah. But um. Twenty six years old, he's going to sure. have a lot more both. You don't get the third on the money list without a heart. Okay, see if he can shore up a little bit of a miss hit on the last one. Okay, He's made the ball on the side. Now that cue ball got kissed back to the end rail. Um, so a little bit of a f starter on the. He's got a starter on both. He's yep. got a two ball and a 13. Um, he's got a long distance 14. It's. I think in, if, unless the four goes clean, he probably wants stripes. I'm not sure otherwise, but I mean, he can break it out, but it's kind of lonely by itself down there. But. I think he's trying to see what, uh, what, what he wants to shoot. <clears throat> I think after looking at those uh, three balls there in the middle of the table on the foot rail, he might take stripes. Yeah. Just depends on if the four goes. If the four goes, sure. it's probably solids. Mm -hmm. But if the four doesn't go, it's probably stripes. Um, he's got a nine ball that doesn't go by the two, but he can certainly get on it. He's got a ten ball he can come across because uh, the nine does go by the six. So a lot to work with. A little bit of a tester on the stripe if he shoots it, that being the 13 in the side. or And I can look at it now that both the 12 and the 15 – both play to that lower left, and, yeah. And the four doesn't? Uh, the four, I don't know about yet. It's questionable, and that's what he's looking at now. Now, shooting this 13, he's going to bump this nine ball. He's going to bump it past the two. Well, I don't think he wants to bump it at all, really. I think he'll just use the 10. Oh, I see. Okay. He'll just use the 10 ball. He may even shoot the 9 now if he can, if he feels comfortable with it. I thought he was naturally going into it. I thought he had a little bit of an angle. Kind of camera kind of fools me there a little bit. Okay, so he's going to come on down now off the 9, and, and really he should probably play for the 12 more than the 15, I would. Um, Especially if he can play, um, like, in line with the five where he can just stun it up for the 15. Yeah, or go the bottom rail sure. and up. He, he, either is easy. He, and come back up, yeah. The reason why he's looking at the 15 is he feels like the 12 is a little easier ball to get back up table. Um, that being the 14 in the side or in the corner. So, But if he has pretty good speed, which he usually does, um, he'll be all right. But. See, still want to shoot the 12, I think. Uh, unless you have to be absolutely perfect on the 14 to draw back, not rub the 4, and not get too steep on the 12. And he may have gotten there. but Oh, he's looking to see if he shoots the 14. Is the 4 going to push the 12 down if he goes forward with the cue ball? So recognizing all the options, uh, Jung, Jung Wen Chang. Could he break this with a little inside English shooting? Sure, ball? sure he could. I like that. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's going to do. This doesn't look like a slow roll to me. This looks like coming into the edge of the four mildly. He missed the ball. Wow. Don't see much of that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't see much of that at all. And it's really a didn't. Miss. I mean, he may have gotten a shot, but he didn't draw the best position on the what was the 15 ball also.
Everything's open for Skyler. Why draw straight back out for the four or over for the three? Either one's, either one works. Yeah, he wants to get that five out of there, doesn't he? <laughs> so what he'll do is he'll he'll gain some type of position on the five here, and then use the four um, to get back on the one. I'm, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Well, did he get a little thin? I mean, he can go close. three rails. Yeah, he can follow three rails to get on the four. He's making sure that he can shoot the eight from where the four is. He's going back and oh, oh that ain't is that going to get it? That's going to get it to the four though, so mm -hmm. he'll be okay because <laughs> he'll draw back and then he'll have the eight in the side. So. He was looking to shoot that eight ball down past that 12. I don't know if he likes that. I think that was more if he had to play the four last. Okay. Like, right. if, you know, because I think he was trying to go three rails to the one. Uh, right. I think he, yeah, I, it he did just hit, hit a little heavy. Little, yep. So, didn't hit quite slowed the cue ball down when you catch the ball to the pocket a little different than what you imagine. Uh, cue ball doesn't quite usually get where you want it. Now, I'll teach you something about the shirt and the Fallon. Is whenever you look down and you're clear, right? Mm -hmm. Don't ever go down any further. Meaning it, you look down and you say to yourself, oh, I got six inches. And the way people foul is they continue to go down a little more thinking they got all that room. Okay. So if you want to make sure the shirt doesn't get involved, you check it and make sure it's in good position, and then you never let the body go down any further. Well, from a 4-2 lead. Jun, Yun, Jun Lin Chang is now tied with, is now uh, trailing by a game. Yeah, he's lost three he's in lost a row. A game. He's lost three in a row, and what a swing of events. Uh, at 5-3, he was breaking. Sure. Uh, and had a chance to go up 6-3. to three, And now... Looking to be maybe down by two games after after Sky's after. break. We'll see what happens. Yeah, the dry break, to, to, uh, Skyler took advantage of that. Then Skyler broke and ran. And then he missed the, he missed that ball in the corner, trying to break out the, the other ball there next to it. And Skyler took advantage of that, too. So Skyler was able to convert two mistakes into games. And here he is to break the balls again. He's had three dry. He's had three dry breaks. He's breaking from about the same spot he's been successful from twice now. Oh, hit those really square! Oh wow, that's the best break he's had in a, in a while. That's for sure. Yeah, that's a very nice break. Cue ball came back straight back and just parked. Yeah, and balls went around it. I think he's got to look at the six. If he's got to look at the six, I mean the stripes are doable too. Mm -hmm. But he's got a funny jacked up shot on the fourteen in the side. I think the six. I know the five and one are a little goofy, but the two. There's a big area to get position on the two. So if you can get position on the two, the five and the one, you should be able to handle. So mm -hmm. if he's dead straight here, I'd love to shoot this six and pick off the seven right after, and then just use the three to fall on the two, and you should run out. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Get rid of this seven. No, you can handle a lot of angle on the three, so just come out just a little left of the eight. Don't do anything special on this three. Get into the three. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now you'll just play the two. Now the Probably want to play an angle on the two to come to the right side of the five and one because there's that choice instead of playing them up long. 
a lot of people would say just stay underneath. But if you have the choice, you want the shorter shots, right? Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't stand. I yeah. would play the angle to get on the one for the uh, whoa, whoa. for the five, whoa. actually. And then the one. Whoa. Well, That's now, pretty steep. Yeah, now he's got to come and bump the five. I think he's just got to come up and bump the five, take a pretty accurate, uh, accurate line on bumping it. Right? You don't try to kill this ball. I don't. Um, no, I like I like what you just suggested. Well, he got it. He's going to need a roll. Only, and he, he's got one. Well. He can shoot the ball now. Yeah, the he can shoot the, the five now, but he's either got to draw into the 11 or he's got to take a gamble going between them. They're, the five's thinner than it looks on the screen. Okay, I like going into the 11. Yeah, just don't, just don't let off your stroke. He should hit it full. And if you glance, you most likely are going to get a shot because mm -hmm. there's no trouble around the one, and there's a few pockets. Yep. So big moment here in this match. Again, draw, in, draw into this ball. Don't back off of it. Oh, the camera fools you. It looks like he's banking it cross side by the way the cue's <laughs> aimed. All right, oh, nice shot perfect. there. Now he'll he's draw perfect. off the side of the table for the eight in the side. Beautifully and done. A lot of heat on Mr. Chang now, nearing the end of this final at seven to five. And rightly so, it's a it's a it's a mainly Sky Woodward crowd uh, here, right <laughs> here in the USA, uh, with f fighting for this U.S. Open. But they've paid Mr. Uh, Chang some, his respect. Oh, absolutely, very well. I think they all sure. like him a lot and really mm -hmm. respect his game. There's no, has nothing to do with with him. It's just a matter of Sky Woodward being probably the most popular American player on. Uh, I would say now Shane. In the U.S. Sure. Shane is up there, of course, with his I abilities would say it's, and it's everything Shane, else. Shane, Billy, and, and Sky. Right. But as far as like fans that you could probably throw the pool game aside. Uh, Skyler's up there, right? Yeah. And all three of those spent some time together. Oh, yeah, a lot of time. Yeah. Down to the last two, folks. And they're putting on quite a show for you. Yeah, there's for been us. some special outs this this match, yep. that's for sure. Uh, because when you have dry breaks, you have clusters more often, and and uh, it just leans a little more towards tougher outs. Nothing that's down yet. Ten ball. There it goes. Ten ball got kissed, but the cue ball on the two. Okay. Shot on the two, shot on the seven. Yeah. Long shot on the nine if he wants stripes. Well, I think it'll be solid it's just at first glance. Just the starters are easy. The 11's a little covered up. And the 1 really leads to the 6 pretty mm -hmm. easy. So just pay attention to getting on the 3. Pretty important ball right there, even though it looks like it's not that hard. He's got to come over for the three ball. I think I might go up and get the one and six now and okay. leave the five to get back, back to the seven and yeah. the seven to get back to the three. I think with this natural angle to go around the five right here, I think I go for the one and the six here. The three is some concern. Don't get me wrong. Talked He's about it at the end of the rack, but with two balls there, he should be able to produce it. Yep. He's got to get the cue ball right there by the 12 on the right side of the rail there. Right side rail. And that's the little things that he does well, like. That kind of shot, you don't figure to get out of line, but he just always gets right, like exactly where you want mm -hmm. almost. Mm -hmm. 
So what he's thinking about now is when I cut the three, I'm gonna have it's gonna be a little thin. So how am I moving the cue ball from the three to the eight? You think he'll play the three ball last? Well, I mean, that's what the rack tells us right now. Now, mm -hmm. if he got perfect on this to draw up for the seven and then shoot the seven and then the three and then come up to the top side of the five, he might do that. I'm thinking the five leads him there, but not anymore. Yeah. No, he's going to shoot the five to five. the seven now. Yeah. Okay. That was the original plan. That's why it was so easy to go up table for that one and six because the five always got you back down here. It's just going to have to make a little bit of a touchy shot on the three. Um, and it, whether that be cut it and run right back into the 11 and to hold the cue ball for the eight or, um, oh, he's going to the top side of it. So yeah, he's going to the top side. He's going to okay. lay it on the rail. Yeah, that's good. So now he can play the eight in the side. And these shots, he really hits the line well coming oh, out two sure. rails. Uh, really knows the speed. And when I say the speed, meaning when you hit the first rail here, the right takes. But when you have the speed correct, when it hits the second rail, there's no more right. And it just comes straight, straight off across. right towards yeah. that eight yeah. and doesn't get on top of it. Like right it's here, like it's this. just got straight English, so it comes real nice and tight. If you overhit it a hair, it's still got the right on it, and, and you, you can get line. away from it. Sure. Yeah. And that was a break and run. So we've had one, two, three, four, five, six. Six so far. So we've had a 50%, just what you were talking about. Is that what it is right now? We got, we've had six, possibly seven. Did I miss one someplace? We've had four by Chang and two by Skyler. two or three Skyler has really broke the balls uh, how he wants to break them. Especially the last one. That was yeah. like the best break I've seen him make. That was a very good break. Now if he can repeat it he can maintain his lead. Looks like um, even with a second, even with a second place finish, Skyler gets the points for yeah. the all around. Yeah, with that second and, and fifth six, he was just <laughs> one notch ahead of Dennis, and Dennis had already passed Marco. There uh, goes the ball. So yeah, Skyler in the in the biggest and best free roll position of anybody in the tournament, and deserving. Uh, I mean, really. He lost a hill-hill match against Marco that For could have changed ball. the entire complexion sure. of the tournament, probably would have, um, but then hung tough and got going on the loser's side, beating uh, the man he's playing in the finals mm -hmm. here. Uh, he beat uh, two or three other really top players, all top players anyways. Okay, and he's looking at the one, but I guess that means he doesn't have enough angle on the five to really open the 110 right here. Mm-hmm. Because uh, if he wanted to shoot the three and kill his cue ball, he could certainly uh, cannon into the 110 enough to move the 10 to the end rail and make the one open. It kind of looks like it's open, but I guess not. He's not shooting it, so. 
Well, maybe that says that it is open, and he doesn't want to move it right now, meaning the angle is taking him off the five into a hair of the one. So, oh, that's going to be upsetting. But he's got the four, so that's okay. Thought he wanted to get on that seven right then. He's okay, though. He's good. Mm -hmm. He'll peel off the, the four and then the seven then the two. And 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 it got to say, then, the one is available after the five's gone, right, right George? If sure, he's going I this so. route. If he I let mean, it go, I thought he might take care of him now. But uh, the fact that he's addressing these three down here that were a problem. And uh, more of a problem than those. Tells me that he's those, fine yeah. up there, yeah. So you want to go ahead and get that two ball now. And he might just bump the eight a little more open. Okay, that wasn't available, so. And uh, like I said earlier, like we talked about, that I think Skyler's eight ball game's getting better and better with every rack. And if he goes on to get out here, he's doing everything he can after an early deficit to put a lot of pressure on Jung Lin. Yeah, if the one's tight, you want to be close to it, and you probably want to shoot it next. That way you're not shooting the one to a tight pocket trying to draw position on the eight. You'd rather shoot the ball that's free drawing position on the eight. Well, is that because of the stretch maybe? Could be. I don't understand I'm why not, he's not shooting it no, now. No, not either, using really. Using the three ball to get to the eight. Yeah, and... and and say he has to manipulate the cue ball just a hair here. Well, now you're talking about uh, not having that much of a choice doing it whenever the one only has a portion of the pocket. And he right? stretched out over those balls. Yeah. So you've got to stay steady here. Just creep it back towards the eight. You can take a little distance. There you go. What a stroke. One of the sweetest strokes I've seen all week by, by Sky, really. That eight on, you know, the big eight number on the on the on the winner there, the, you know, the big numbers mm -hmm. we, on the eight, yeah. nine, and ten. Occasionally, when I take a quick glance, it gives like I have double vision, like there's two oh. eights there. Like. <laughs> it's funny because the ten's the same way. You have the big big numbers on it. Yeah. The eight, nine, and ten all have the big numbers, and the predator uh, logo on the opposite side. Those are the. Uh, Cyclop Hyperion Balls, and there you can see our uh, sponsors, which is Cyclop, Kamui, KamuiTips.com, Predator, PredatorQs.com, Simonis, JB Cases, Discount Custom Apparel, and this tournament is proudly presented by Q Sports International. And the last thing Mr. Chang wants at this juncture is a dry break or a scratch. He would like to see himself, envision himself with a break and run. But he can't. He can't afford to let Sky, Sky get on the hill here and then break for the match. No, even when in the lag at 9-6, yeah. to six, Sky will have two attempts to break sure. the balls uh, to win. And you got to figure, ooh, cue ball, cue ball. Okay, that, that's, a, that's clear. And and is the 14 going to do him any? Ooh. Okay, so he's only got really a nine ball. As this far as stripes shot. are concerned, he may have the six. I don't think so. Or the seven, rather, I'm saying. Seven. I think he's inside the inside the ball between the 14 ball and the rail. Okay. Well, really, he wants stripes anyways. Yes. But it's a bit of a tester, especially under the cir circumstances. But if he pockets the ball, he it, it, it's got high reward. He's probably out. Yeah, and I'll tell you what he can do. If he if he doesn't mind shooting it with a high ball, he can go for get on the 12 right now if he wanted. Now, I think the 11 and the 15 are more of problems than the 12 myself. So well, it may draw over. Yeah. I, I, that's actually what I like doing because he can get to both of them. He can take care of the two on the left, the one on the bottom, and then the two up on top. Yeah, he draws this ball, though, and I hate to bring this up, but this is the type of shot 
if you're cueing it and you're trying to throw it a hair, this is the type of shot you could actually bump the 14 with your cue. Okay. Yeah, because you have that. It's a like a slant. You know what I mean? Like right. you're down the rail. It's, you're, there's a little bend, yeah. so it's a little more safe rolling it as far as fouling the ball. Especially coming off the rail the way exactly because it's yeah. almost like when you break the balls from the side rail and you get the cue ball too far out. No problem. Yeah, great shot. And now he'll slide up the rail for the 11, most likely, anyways. Still got some work though, especially when you get balls opposite side rails. Um, there's going to be work. Yeah. I see him playing this 11 ball next. And then the, f the 15 ball down to the same corner he's playing the 12 in. Yeah, but he doesn't want to wait on a 14-10 combination, even though he may, might no, have to. No. But, but that's okay. I mean, as long as he gains angle on it, he can't go wrong. Meaning if he shoots the 14 with a little angle, the cue ball comes out, no problem. So, I think he stays there. Yeah, you don't want to shoot it from straight, though. That's the place you don't want to shoot it from. And he's very aware of that. It's just like nine ball. If you yeah. want to make sure you get a guaranteed shot on the 14, you want to shoot that with angle. You that know, way you come across. He could shoot this 14-10 combo and then bring the cue ball towards the five because that's where the 14 is going to go. Yeah, that's what I was saying, oh, okay. keep an angle. Okay. As long as you have this angle, sure. you come he's out okay. and the 14 comes out with you. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, you bump this into the rail. You can't go wrong. Rail first on the 14. Ball first is okay, too. Rail first a little safer, but either one's fine. And now he's coming straight down. Yeah, and, you know. Those breaking runs are coming fast and furious. Yeah, they are, and expected a close match, and no matter who goes on to win it, they're going to have to earn it. That's what sure. the other guy's telling them. Not going to get anything soft here. You know, it's like I think we've had more break and runs in A ball than we have in Ted ball by far. Oh, yeah. Now we're up over 50% break and runs. This guy's looking at that rack intently. Satisfied with it. And off we go. And just keep doing that break. That break's been great in the last several, three or four. Little little lighter speed that time. Uh oh. Oh, oh. It looked like it was going to be a horrible couple kisses. It was, it? and then the other one and gave it, him an extra yeah. ball, and another ball went into the left-hand corner pocket. And yeah, it went from a nasty-tasting kiss to like a, like a Hershey's kiss almost, I guess you might say. <laughs> a couple nice ones there Good not only kept it. the scratch from, but it got a ball down as well because he was dry until he got a couple bang-bang mm -hmm. kisses up there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Difficult out here, though. It Nothing looks. really, uh, not one shot with the, that cluster down there really opens them up. Does a 13 go by the two in the side? Boy, that's huge because then he can get on the 14 in the upper corner fairly easy, especially with the 12 being there. He was looking at it. So, But he might be looking at solids just because of a couple shots, but we'll see. The four goes in that upper corner as well. Um, they go, there's a little separation between the 14 and mm -hmm. four, so they both go that upper left. Well, maybe the 14 goes to the lower right. That makes a huge difference on decisions, I guess. But He's The 
He'll take his time on this because this is, um, this could be the match. Gets him on the hill, and like you said, with two breaks, um, putting pressure on Chang to to break productively. And he is taking the stripes. And he's got a great angle to come down for the 14 if it goes by the 4. And if there is a little space, he's looking at it now. He's, okay. That tells me that the 14 does go by the 4 ball. Uh, taking a little more time. Okay, that's got to go a little bit, right? I like to have been closer. Yeah, just a hair off the rail would have been nice. But if the 14 goes, I think the 13 goes in the side. And really, I mean, there's not a whole lot of problems other than you do want to have an angle on the 13 to drop below the 12. You can't handle going into the three with that cue ball whenever you shoot the 12, right? Well, if, if he can get it here, I'd go. rather shoot the 12 next and then shoot the 13 because you line up it on a lot nicer. Yeah, but... But then going to the eight ball is tough. Yeah, man. because the 13's covered up sure. by the two and the sure. four. So below the 12 is a little easier way to get up there on an eight that isn't hasn't got a ton of options, really. He's going to have to move the cue ball some, some ways. All the way down there? Probably one rail between the eight and five for the but eight in the left side pocket. He can get there. If it goes by, it must go by the two because he looked at it several times. And he can get the cue ball down by the rail like he just looked at. Yeah, and I think then it's, as long as he doesn't get too thin on the 12, he's got to go, go a little bit. A little now more. he's going to have to shove his ball into position because there's not a ton of angle there. He's got to come up between the eight and the five. Play the eight in the side pocket. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it goes to the corner. No, he doesn't want to shoot to that portion. It'd be one thing if it was like stop your ball and I'm right there, perfect on it. Is he going to get there? Uh, yes, he is. He's uh, going to get there. It's going to get enough. Wow. So Scott Woodward will give it a moment. We'll let this eight get down, but make it a ni another nice solid out. Again. Don't let up on it. Go ahead and let the stroke out. Cut the ball. Yeah. He's broken run the last four racks he's shot at. And he's on the hill. Well, that's what wins tournaments when it comes down towards the end. You know, you just <laughs> kind of take over a little bit. Well, let's take a look here. One. Well, at 5-3. So he's won six out of eight. He was down yeah. five to three with Chang breaking. Yeah, he and now yeah. has won six out of eight from that point. So pretty impressive. And even though he's broke well, there's been yeah. difficult outs. I mean, it's it's not like the Aranis break we saw in the mm -hmm. opener of this eight ball tournament where he broke and really you could you could kind of force his hand on what he had to shoot yeah. and he would still run out. And it all started on a dry break by Chang at and five then a break in a run right? at five yeah. to three. Yeah. And just right on down. And then he, uh, Chang missed a ball the next rack, and uh, Scatter converted that. And then they've had uh, five breaking runs in a row between the two of them. Yeah, and the one thing is, though, with Chang winning his last break, he's only got to dodge one break of Sky. Sky's only going to have one break to win the match. So we'll see what happens here in game number 17. But game 18 could loom to be the biggest one. We've seen, uh-oh, nothing yet, nothing yet. Not 14? Nope. Nope, Scott Woodward's going to have an opportunity to win right here, and a nice one at that. He immediately looked at the 10 to see if it would go, because the stripes, you can tell, and maybe it does go, because he doesn't look too upset about it. He's looking, giving it a second look. 
Yeah, and if that ball goes, I mean, this is a very, very doable out. Um, he's got a bunch of balls that play in the side. The 12 goes to both lower corners, especially when the 9's gone. You're not going to cut the 10 right now, though, Sky. If you're going to shoot the 10, it's going to be after you knock the 11 in. Mm -hmm. So it'll be that. And then don't worry about the 13, meaning if you get an angle to come up into the 13, don't do it. Meaning you can get position on the 13 from the 15. So it don't, goes. don't take any chance here. Yeah, get on that 15 ball. And again, don't alter the shot on the 10 to a portion of the pocket just because of 15. you got all kinds of time to get at that 13 ball. All right, that should do it. Come on down. That's perfect. Wow. That's perfect. Now just stay kind of heavy on the 13. That way you just play for the 12. You don't wait on the 12 ball, I don't think. So it'll be the 15, 13, 12. The 14 goes easily in the side. Goes in the corner as well. I like the 15, 13, 12, 9. Play the 14 in the side, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has to slide over for the 14 in the corner. I like. So just go forward a little bit. Oh, he's doing it another way. He's going to play this ball 12 first and then the 13. Right? Can he, can he, get, can he get over there? Well, Let's he doesn't want. He wants angle. So yeah. it's, 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 over there is not really that big of a deal, but he wants angle on this 13 to come across. And I'm still a little curious he let, played it this way, but if he stays heavy on this 14, he just draws back above the 8, and then he's got the 9 and a chip in on the 8 in the side. So I'd go ahead and catch these two rails here, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd come all the way over for the 14. But go ahead and bump the up the second rail is what I'm saying. Because if you stay heavy, stay. if you stay heavy, you just draw above the 8 here. Don't yep. slide it, I don't think. I no, because the three ball can come into play. Well, I think even if you bump the eight, you're okay. So sliding it or drawing it just kind of depends on what he feels like right now. Well. Yeah, see, it. he can yeah. bump the eight and still have position I think that's a much better choice than trying to draw above it because then now he's going above it uh, and crossing the eight. He could get stuck behind it. That's perfect. Right here, folks, this eight ball for the... U.S. Open eight ball title and championship. And an automatic into the Predator World 10 sure. ball come March. <laughs> Sky Woodward with his first U.S. Open title and deservingly so. Wow. Hats, hats off to Jung Lin Chang who always is there. It seems like in the finals or somewhere around it. Mm -hmm. I really so, enjoyed it, George. Oh, it's been a pleasure doing commentary with you, Jeremy, and like to thank everybody that supported the stream. Thank, thank everybody that's been around. Thank you very much, and uh, I guess we should sign off. Yeah, we'll see you soon.
Mr. Woodward back in a second. You guys have fun? Oh, yeah. Thank you. 